All right. Good morning, good morning, YouTube. Uh, so today I want to do a quick explanation on the BT7 Black Knight slash Commandramon deck that uh, I've been trying out. And to be honest, I'm not too happy with it, but I think I could, after some playtesting, there's some changes that I definitely want to make to it, and I think we'll try it again in later videos. Uh, but very quickly, let's go over this really, really, really fast. Uh, it's, it, again, Commandramon plus the new BT7, Dark Knight, uh, Skull Knight, and Deadly Axemon that came out as a it's kind of like a fusion core let's see here all right so very quickly just take a look at the eggs going from smallest to biggest digimon and then the security and options last i've got three copies of bagumon for the draw whenever they get destroyed and i've got two copies of the uh Tsumemon. whenever there's digimon with the same name on the on the field you get plus 2000 dp this is useful just because i run so many command uh, and sometimes you know your 5,000 Commandramon or 4,000 Commandramon becomes six or 7,000, which is a good number to get to. All right, so nothing fancy here. As you would expect, four copies of really cheap Commandramon, four copies of Searcher Commandramon, because, you know, you're trying to get that Dark Dortomon out. Four copies of Thick Boy Commandramon, because somebody's got to carry the boat. Might as well be him. And finally, rounding out the Command Drummond, we've got four copies of the Blocker Command Drummond. This guy is going to be super useful, as we learned in today's games, and not having him is pretty detrimental. So the four Blocker Command Drummond are also great. Also, I have a couple more level threes here, and that is in the form of the new monitor mons that came out for BT7. These guys are searchers for the Skull Knight, Dark Knight, Deadly Axe part of the deck. So if you think of this deck as kind of like two halves of a whole, this is the other half, being able to search out uh, those guys and put one into your hand on play. As you can see, it's those, there's 20, <laughs> there's 20 uh, level threes in this deck, which means it's more aggro focused. It's more of a rookie rush-ish deck. Also, don't mind that message down at the bottom of that guy said he was doing shrooms. He's a weird one. <laughs> you didn't know it was going to be on YouTube, did you, Rafika? Now you got some explaining to do if your family sees this. Alright, so taking a look at the level 4s, I've got two copies of Blimpmon. Just a nice, thick boy. Unfortunately, he was the Hindenburg today, getting slapped up. Additionally, when we take a look at the Skull Knight, Dark Knight uh, line in the deck, we've got four copies of Skull Knightmon, who can attack and basically form and combine a Dark Knight level 5, which checks to security and has 9,000, which is really nice. And then we've also got the Deadly Axemon, who gives uh, the Skull Knightmon, Dark Knightmon, plus 2,000 when they combine, and he lets you search out two pieces from the top five cards of your deck, which is uh, pretty nice for... What I assume to be the... What's the word I want to use here? I don't know. The, to, make, to make sure that the deck is solid. That's probably the best I could, best word I could find. But I don't know. The searches didn't really help. I feel like sometimes the searches grabbed like all Commandramon. And uh, yeah, it wasn't really a great time. Okay. So that's all the level 4s here. Again, I've got uh, 10 level 4s. I could probably run a couple more. But I think this is really all I need. Take a look at the level 5s. So this is where I differed my list a little bit from things I've seen before. And uh, the, But uh, first, as always, this one definitely doesn't uh, differ from any list. And that is you run 4 copies of the Dark Knight Mon. Being able to get a free Digivolve from your Skull Knight Mon whenever he swings and there's a Deadly Axe on the board. You could also just hard play him and get a Skull Knight Mon and Deadly Axe Mon each from the top of your deck. And, uh, oh, sorry, from your hand or trash and just put them underneath him. If you just hard play him, you just get the effect. Uh, so yeah. And then on both turns, if he ever is destroyed, then you, he splits into the Dark Knight, or excuse me, into the Skull Knight and the Deadly Axe Mon. So yeah, on play, 
you you basically put uh, the two pieces underneath them and then on destruction they pop out additionally i've run this is where the list does vary a little bit i run three copies of tank Dramon. i thought that this would help with the command Dramon gameplay being able to cycle through command Dramon because again most of the deck is command Dramon. although this ended up being more of an impediment than anything else I think if I were to change this deck list, and I probably will, this is the card that I'm going to be taking out. But please give it a shot. If you have better luck than I do, I'd love to hear about it. But uh, being able to swing with the Command Dramon, if it dies, you look at the top two cards. And if one of those is a Command Dramon, you can just hard play them. It's really nice. Unfortunately, I don't think it gels well with the rest of this deck. And then level six is, of course, of course, of course. Got your four copies of uh, Dark Dormon. Once you, you know, drop all of those... Command Dramon into the trash. You get three memory. You get five Command Dramon. Put him at the bottom of the deck and you play him for three. And he has a... Uh... Blitz isn't the word. Haste? Yeah. So he can attack immediately. The turn he comes out. So that's all the Digimon for the deck. Taking a look at some of the options. I have four copies of Pride Memory Boost. Again, I think one of the most underrated cards that came out in BT7. Four costs... You look at the top three cards of your deck, play one that has less than four play cost, and uh, then it gets plus two memory later on. Such a good card. Such a good card. Man, that's good. You should probably run four copies of this, to be honest. Additionally, I have uh, some tamers here. I've got two copies of Analog Shonen, Analog Boy. I don't think he worked out very well. Having to spend the two memory on a tamer for a little bit of card milling through the deck, and that's it, rather than just playing another Digimon, seems a little detrimental to the deck's game plan. Uh, I would think about if I really want to include this card, or if I want something like a black memory boost where I could use the the memory later to you know have a big tempo swing or a, a big turn. So. He's great for going through your deck and just dropping Commander on into the trash, but I don't know. It just feels like that memory is better spent elsewhere. Also, because you're not going to get his effect very often of whenever there's a level 5 or higher that gets destroyed, you're really only using it for the milling. I do run three copies of this, though. So, And then finally, I've got three copies of Izzy and Joe, the dual tamers from BT6. Uh, this one also didn't really come in very useful. I think four memory is hard to commit to in an aggro deck. And honestly, I think, I, it, again, I sound like a broken record at this point, but it might be better spent as, you know, black memory boost. The, the card draw is, is nice, but I feel like the deck doesn't really die on card draw or it doesn't really need card draw. I have so many searchers. I have so many. I've got the... Uh, uh, Bakumans for... Is it Bakumans? It's not Bakuman, right? Yeah, so I have the Bakumans uh, in my eggs to help to help draw. I've got enough level 4 so I can Digivolve and draw. I don't know. These may be not that useful. So yeah, the card draw is nice, but it you're really just spending 4 for maybe like 2 or 3 card draw during the game. Um... So yeah, that's the deck. Uh, let me know if there's any changes you would make. Again, I have some very mixed feelings about it after playtesting it uh, this morning. I'll put up those games later on after uh, the days after this video comes out. But uh, yeah, if you have any suggestions, I think one of the suggestions I would have is putting in a Zwart. Level 6 Zwart so that I can evolve my uh, Dark Dodomon into a Zwart. And then just drop either, you know, two... Uh, Dark Knights or two blocker Commander Mons to save my butt when I needed it. You'll find out more about that later. Uh, but yeah, I think there was definitely some changes I'll make to this deck, and uh, we'll try it again in uh, future videos. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed, and uh, look forward to the actual actual deck testing videos coming on or coming out after this one. Y'all be good. Take care. Uh, bye bye.